The new Estate Swing Classic and Estate Swing 1000 control boards make setting up your limit switches easier than ever. On your control board, if you press and hold the set button, you'll notice the display will change to PL. This is the programming limits mode. If you press button one, this is the letter O and one. This stands for open limit switch motor one. This is your limit one block that goes with motor one. If you press button one again, it says C1. This is closed limit switch motor one. Again, it's this block. If you have a dual gate and you press the button one again, it would go to O2. For the secondary arm, motor two, and it would be looking at the limit two block. And lastly, you would press the button one again, and it would go to C2. And this would be for the closed limit switch on the secondary arm. Today, we are gonna demonstrate setting up a single gate opener. I have it set to O1, open limit switch, first motor. The easiest way to set up your limit switches is to turn the arm upside down and move your limit switches by loosening these screws to the furthest out points that they can travel in the guide. With my arm upside down, the limits pushed out to the furthest point and my display on O1 for open limit switch primary operator, I'm now gonna move my gate to the open position and move the piston to match it. With my gate in the desired open position and my operator arm reattached to the gate bracket, I can now find my limit switch. My display is still on O1. This is for open limit switch primary arm. I'm gonna slide the open limit switch until I hear a beeping. demonstrate this again. If I back the limit switch off, the beeping is stopped. As I slide the limit switch forward, the beeping starts. That means this is the correct position for this limit switch. I can now tighten down my screws on the limit switch. Now that my O1 is set, open limit switch, first motor, I'll press button one and go on to C1, closed limit switch, primary motor. I'm now gonna move my gate to the closed position and unscrew my operator arm piston to match up with the gate in the closed position. My gate is now in my desired closed position. My piston is extended out and attached to the gate bracket. I also have C1 on the display. That means closed limit switch, primary operator. I can now slide my limit switch in until the beeping starts. This is gonna be my closed limit switch position. Now that my closed limit switch is set, I can press the set button. It will go back to flashing dots. If I had a dual operator, I would have pressed the button one and went on to O2 for the secondary operator open limit switch. And I would have repeated the same process I did for my primary operator for my secondary operator.